we are back at it again here with another video with the invest for tomorrow to all the first time viewers and investors welcome to the channel to all the subscribers welcome back all i ask for in return is for you to smash that like button tell me know you watch this video helps out the youtube channel and lets me know you appreciate the time and effort i put into making these videos so here we are with fami and this is a stock that is setting up to possibly explode again we're going to break down all the data all the information and what the charts are showing on the one day and 30 minute and when was the first time I talked about it and why I'm retouching bases on it at these levels. But before we do, I want to share with you guys the opportunities I mentioned this morning over at the Discord. And if that's something that interests you and you want to become part of, check out the link down below in the description to the Discord. And we're going to jump right into it here with FAMI. So the opportunities I mentioned this morning turned out to give realistic expectations. And one of them nearly reached home run opportunity, regardless of what goes on. In the volatility of the markets where the S&P 500 index continues to go down or struggles to get back up to all-time highs or portfolios are sitting sideways or in the red, I will continue to look for opportunities daily, guys. And you can become part of this as well. The link is down below in the description to the Discord. And by joining, you'll become part of a growing community of investors all looking to learn and grow together. So I mentioned CNET and BBIG after its news. I was watching CNET for volume to pick up, and if it didn't, I was going to disregard it. BBIG gave a small jumps of 3 to 5%, but the one that nearly reached home run opportunity was CNET, guys. It was pulling back in the pre-market, sitting sideways, and right after the bell, it took off to a highest point of 18% plus, came back down, and ran up another 10 to 15% plus after that initial run guys if this is something you want to become part of you're more than welcome to join us check out the link down below in the description to the discord and we look forward to having you join us let's jump into these charts so here we are with fami and this is a stock that i talked about way back here on the weekend on the 19th going into the 20th and watching it go lower i saw this overreaction that happened that week i saw it going downwards and it was near an all-time low and that same week, it touched the lowest point of 19 cents. And here's the proof. And this is what you gain access to by joining the Discord and Patreon. You gain access to the weekly watch list as well as the daily watch list and their stocks every single day that we're looking at as a community. And then the weekly watch list as well, where I'm looking for swing trade opportunities, a 10, 20% move within a week or two to three weeks from that date. And I stated it right here on September 19th. Now, this is a stock that was looking like it was in extreme weakness near its 52 week low, all time low that we've seen in a while. And it actually was trying to find a bottom. It couldn't find it at 22 cents. So that same week it went ahead and found it at 20 cents and all of a sudden broke down towards 19 cents and the reversal began. That was probably one of the best times to start watching this stock for a possible turnaround and maximizing on the opportunity. So why am I talking about it again? Well, we're going to break it down in just a moment, but it nearly doubled and a half reaching those highs there of 52 cents. It was a phenomenal ride up. A lot of investors maximized on it. And those are the things you can gain access to live updates on the stocks that I'm watching and when I'm watching them daily or weekly and what it is that drawn my attention to them. So here we are with FAMI at these levels in the 30s. Now, one of the biggest things that made this run up was the letter from the CEO, right? It made shareholders and investors excited about it. It brought speculation and hype towards it. And that's not really what was expected. That happened out of the blue. I was just looking at this from a technical standpoint on the 30 minute and the one day and the reversal came back with strength and you're going to see it here on the one day when i started watching it it was at these levels hit that low and complete transition here with 42 vision which is something you can gain access to as well by joining the 42 vision tier level a lot of people ask what it is and it is an indicator that allows me to see the dips and ride the rips with confidence because i see the strength and transitions that are happening right through the volatility i'm able to see a focus picture of what's going on that's the way i look at it and that's what i love about it and everyone that is using it is maximizing on the opportunities because it instills that confidence and clarity from the charts 
So it also just knocks out all the noise too. Like everything that's going on in news, different forums, different you know locations, all the hype. It's just all about the charts at the end of the day and it allows you to see it. But here we see FAMI transitioning right after going upwards, kind of pulling downwards and consolidating. That right there is weakness with just a bit of strength because it didn't transition to red. It is green with red borders. It held itself up. But this transition here is important because what comes after that transition, if it continues with momentum, it would be a green candlestick. This is a dark green candlestick with blue and green borders. So if it can continue that momentum, there is some more room to the upside from these levels just based off the one day on 42 vision. And on the 30 minute, you could see here how things are trying to hold up right through that consolidation. The only thing is on a more zoomed in picture, things are slightly pulling back. So hopefully it can create newer highs, newer lows, newer highs, right? Create that upward movement, pull back down, pull back up to continue through the volatility. And we're going to talk about what resistance levels need to be touched and what support levels need to be avoided so that the bulls can continue to dominate this. But just based off the one day, it seems to have momentum. The 30 minute is doing a really good job at holding itself up after this big run and pulling back down and not retesting these lows down here because that's really what this stock needs to stay away from and what the bulls need so they can maintain momentum and leverage in this chart. So the first thing is obviously the support level here, 35 cents. If that gets broken through, I would watch how it reacts between 35 and down here at 32. See if the bulls try to reappear and bring it back up or if the bears are just dominating this one completely and i'm also going to be watching these shifts if it continues and goes into red going into tomorrow and also next week now for the bulls to actually continue the momentum they need to break through the highest point reached in this consolidation and that is 41 cents and before getting there today's high was 40 cents so breaking through 40 cents getting to 41 and then breaking out towards 46 would be a key move for the bulls to show momentum and strength, create these resistance levels into support levels, break away from them, and continue the upward trajectory and the staircase effect that could be forming if these are turned into supports and broken through with strength, continuing that upward movement and momentum based off of what it shows. And then the one day completing that transition into full strength going from dark green, right, with green borders, blue borders, and going into green and just continuing to rip through 41, through 46, and try to retest 53 and see if it tests a new high. I think that's going to be a very important and pivotal moment for the bulls, but at these levels, it is a lot riskier than it was down here. It did have a nice move here. It went up nearly 100% plus. And up here, right, the level of upward pressure is a lot less, right? Because it's already done a big move. But at this consolidation, this is definitely a level to be watching this closely to see what's going on. And if the momentum can continue to hold up and push up to newer highs. As always, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. And let's make some money.